Hey guys, today I'm so excited to share with you my new bag. I got a new handbag for my 30th birthday. My husband was so sweet and it is this beautiful YSL. It's the medium college bag in suede and leather and it is so gorgeous guys. Look at that hardware. Oh, I just want to share with you um, an overview of the bag, show you what I put inside and what all it fits and just kind of tell you what my experience has been with it so far some pros and cons so without further ado let's just talk a little bit more about this gorgeous bag right off the bat we just have to talk about how gorgeous this suede and leather is it's a chevron pattern with every other uh, chevron being suede and then leather suede and then leather and it's a little more subtle in this rose color they also have a black one which is a little bit more like prominent but I love how subtle it is but it gives it that amazing texture as well and the hardware is more of an antiqued gold and I absolutely love that it's not quite so flashy it still really gives a nice pop to an outfit but without being super super shiny the top handle I don't really use too much but I think it's really cute it doesn't really get in the way much the crossbody straps are detachable so you can take this off and actually carry it as a top handle bag. One of the first things I noticed when I took it out of the box was this metal looks super large and heavy, but it is really lightweight, very fluid, and just um, real easy to carry. It's not real loud and clunky. It's not heavy, but it still has that beautiful chunky look to it. So I absolutely love this. I'm not bothered by it at all, and a lot of times I'm bothered by big, heavy, clunky chains that are loud. This one is just lightweight and really, I don't, I don't know the word, it's just fluid and kind of like soft feeling if you know what I mean. So pros, of course this bag is beautiful. It fits everything I need and I'll show you that in a minute. But the cons is that it is such a light color. It is calfskin leather and suede so I was really worried about stains and getting it dirty and the lack. So I did spray it down with the Apple Guard suede and leather protector. I sprayed it all down before I ever carried it for the first time. So I do want to mention a con, even though I sprayed it down, um, this is probably something I didn't get very good, but the very first time I carried it, I wore jeans and I have a little bit of color transfer right along the edge up here. It's probably not even something you can see from here, it's just a little blue here on the suede. Um, and I probably just did not get that edge quite good enough. I focused on, you know, the broad side of the bag where it would rub, but I probably didn't get too good on the edge. So if you do end up purchasing this bag, I would say pay attention to every little spot or just don't wear it with jeans. <laughs> um, now I'm very careful to wear it crossbody where it doesn't actually touch my jeans or I wear it with like longer shirts where it doesn't touch or I just wear it with something other than jeans. But I'm very mindful of that now. But I do not think that it ruined the bag. I mean, it is the back side. I sprayed the rest of it really well. I have set this down places. The bottom side has not stained or anything. Um, my toddler has put her grimy hands on the front. It didn't stain or do anything weird to it. So I feel like the product did its job. I just probably had user error on getting it really good on that seam. Another pro to this bag is the color. I am so in love with this YSL rose color. The blushy colors are huge for fall and winter right now. So I think I'm gonna get so much use out of this bag. I think it's the only bag, because of the suede um, and the color combined, I can wear it from September all the way until probably April. I can wear it fall, winter and spring. The only break I would probably give it is summer, but the suede lends that texture for the fall and winter. This color being in style for the fall and winter is spot on. And then the springtime, of course, it goes with all of the lighter springtime colors. I think it's still um, not too wintry with the suede because it has the leather incorporated. And so it's just almost a year round bag, but I think that I'll get more use out of it out of the whole year um, combined than I do any other bag that I own. Now just a quick look inside. It is a magnetic flap. Um, it has the Saint Laurent emblem right here. And then it just has three compartments. A skinny back compartment, a middle zipper, and then a larger front compartment. 
Now I see some people complaining that the back is too thin and it doesn't just open as wide as this front part. I don't find it to be a problem. I think that it fits everything that I could possibly need. Um, it also has a little card holder back here if you wanted to use that. But in the back thin compartment, I just have two items. I have my Kleenex and some wet ones wipes. So I'm not able to fit anything really um, bulky back there, but it fits these two items great. The middle zip compartment, I only carry a card case. I don't carry a full size wallet. So my card case just fits in that middle compartment. You could, I could also throw it in the front here. I have plenty of room, but if you just wanted to keep it extra safe, you could just slide it in that middle zipper compartment. You could also keep cash there, cards, whatever you wanna keep. And then in the biggest front compartment, I'll show you what all I have in there and I still have room for more if I needed, but I keep my phone and mine is the plus size. I have a handful of lip items. I have two lipsticks, lip balm, lip liner, lip gloss, you name it. Um, it keeps plenty of lip items. And then just my keys. So um, that's all that I have in my bag. I'm a pretty minimalist when it comes to throwing things in a handbag, so it's plenty big for me. Like I said, I still had more room in that front compartment if I wanted to put more. Now on the back, there is just a pocket across the entire back side. And a lot of times, if I want my phone handy, I can fit it right back there. It doesn't make it too bulky or stick out too much or anything. It's just perfect for the iPhone Plus. So um, if I want to keep it handy, I just keep it right back there. Now I want to show you what it looks like on. A lot of times I carry it as a shoulder bag, but it also works as crossbody. So I want to show you what that looks like on real fast. I am nearly 5'6", so here it is as a shoulder bag. Like it hits right at my hip. Let me see if I can stand up in this chair. Um, it hits a little long on my 5'6 frame, but I think it's perfectly acceptable to wear as a shoulder bag right here. Um, and then crossbody is absolutely perfect. I love this thick chain. It just adds something to an outfit and then it hits right at the hip. So I uh, love it. I can wear it both ways. I love to be hands free. Um, this is easy to pick up and like take over your shoulder and use the top handle that way. But when I need to be hands free, it's the perfect length. It's not too heavy. I love when the crossbody bag has a leather strap like this. It just makes it so much more comfortable on your shoulder. So um, that was a huge plus for me. That's what I look for in a good crossbody bag. So all in all, I would recommend this bag. I absolutely love it. I also like it in black, but I think that this color just takes you through so many seasons. It's just such a special bag. There's just so much texture and richness um, with the gold, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's the most beautiful bag I own by far. I would say that it's a bag you do have to be careful with, so keep that in mind. If it's something that you know that you would worry about and you would never carry it because it might get something on it, then this wouldn't be for you, but I'm typically not that careful with my expensive bags. I try to treat them well, but I don't want to have to constantly worry about where am I taking it? Where am I going to set it? Um, is it going to rain today? So I did treat it just to help with some of that worry. And like I said, I got a little bit of dye transfer on it, but it's it's not bothering me because I know that um, it's on the back side of the bag. But I just wanted to share with you because it's so beautiful. It's just so versatile and beautiful and it really elevates any outfit. So thanks for letting me share my new bag with you. I hope this helped if you've been eyeing one um, just to show you kind of the size and what it looks like on. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so down below for upcoming videos. My next video is going to be the Sephora VIB sale haul. I've ordered it. It's coming in tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be filming that in the next couple of days. So be sure and check back for that one. And I will see you then. Bye.